Today we're building a goat structure. It's gonna be a good time. It was 60 degrees yesterday and it's currently uh, 23. Feels like 18 uh, in less than 12 hours. But the weather's coming. We got a lot of rain coming this next week. Uh, snow towards the end of the week. So I want to get the goats out of my house, out of, not of my house. I want to get them from the house uh, to the farm, uh, which is only, like I said, it's only a 10 minute drive, but they're going from like a 10 by 20 with a premier fence uh, with, that gives them a little bit more room to a 48 by 32. And that's actually cattle panels and T posts. And then I'll show you guys, I've got kind of a, a chute or a gate that I can attach the premier fence to and still make it hot. And I'm gonna make it to where on, other, on either side of the four sides of the pen where maybe every other couple of days I can let the goats out into a, a much bigger paddock and yet they'll still have their you know permanent structure if you will uh, back inside the pen so but first we got to build them a lean-to and a shelter and get some hay and some straw and I wasn't gonna do a metal roof but where I'm at I don't have as much access to water so I think I'm gonna try some kind of a you know rain collection system but We'll see how far we get today first, because I can always go put metal on afterwards. And I got a heck of a deal too. Uh, you guys are on the bed of my truck. Uh, these are usually 20 bucks. It's like shed siding, which at Lowe's, uh, I think it's normally like 20 bucks. And basically shed siding versus house siding is just how long it's supposed to last. This is only supposed to last like 15 years. Um, I'll have plenty to, uh, you know work with here but anyway it was on sale for 10 bucks so i bought everything they had and uh over here mom and dad built the house this last year and can you guys see that lumber yep free it's the best kind of lumber you can come by so anyway let's get started you guys will see mom and dad's house in the background someday these are my my dreams but um Anyway, let's get started. The boards are 16 feet long, eight foot truck bed, so gotta break them down. But again, my property butts up against theirs, so all I gotta do is cut them down, throw them in the back of the truck, and drive down there. So free lumber is the best lumber. You should always wear safety glasses. You should always wear hearing protection. I'm a dad, so I have that right to say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so that's the thing here. Um, I ran a saw once or twice, so board kicks back. If that's weird to you and it you know, hits me in the chest or whatever, I'm always bracing it against myself. So um, I don't want you to think I'm being reckless. It's just, um, I wouldn't say I'm a carpenter you know, by trade, but I wouldn't be scared of framing a house one bit. So that's where I'm at. I've actually gutted and redone a house uh, probably three or four years ago. And I'm not new to it, so um, let's keep going.
behind me is the goat pen and right over her is where the structure's going. I'm gonna use the back wall as a boundary to save myself a hog panel. I think that's smart for right now. Um, or I should say the front wall would be the boundary. So um, that's why I put all my panels eight feet apart. And uh, here's one of the gates I was referring to. Um, what I'll do is take that premier fence. And of course, if you're not familiar with those, I'll show you eventually in a later video, but they're perma nets and it's just netted fencing that you can hotwire. And I can put the goats here one day, and I can put them up at night, and then the next day I can come back and move that fence, and right off the mouth of this gate, I can move that fence wherever I want. So they gain, uh, I think I bought the 150 footer, which is the biggest one they had. So, um, yeah, they gain that much space uh, just off that fence. So, um, let's get started building the structure. I think I know what I'm going to do, but it never goes the way that I plan because I change something as I go. Now it might on any other build make sense to cut this front board uh, to length, like to eight feet, and have it be the, uh, I wonder why my ears were cold. And um, it might make sense to cut it to length on any other build, but I've seen guys build goat pens, and if they just build it flush with the ground or whatever the goats step out on, um, you get a lot of hay and straw coming out in. And if you don't know, once hay is wet or dirty or falls on the ground, goats aren't gonna touch it. Um, so I'm gonna leave this upright, this vertical, this stringer I've got right here. I'm gonna leave it, it looks to be about nine feet and I'll just put my runners attached to it. And it's also gonna be on the inside of the pen. So the pen can't shift back no matter what mama and I said the name wrong the other night, my son got on to me. Urso, I think I said, I think I've been saying Ezro, but it's Urso. So, anyway, they don't, the ghosts don't know their names at this point. Sorry to tell you, Case, but I want to get the name right. So, anyway, um, I'll show you what it looks like here after a bit. Sorry guys, 
batteries died. Um, one side, one side. Like I mentioned, the front of it's five feet, the back of it's four feet. So as you can see, this piece right here being a four by eight, I'm just gonna be able to push into place right there. Now the gap, the front part, uh, is seven feet. So yes, this will overlap a little bit, but I'm a big believer in, I'm not gonna use a foot of that. If I cut off a foot to make it seven feet and match the front, I'm not gonna use a foot of that material somewhere. But one of these days I may wanna move this pin, I may wanna do something else with it. So I'm not gonna cut this down because I may need eight feet. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it, attach it, and be no big deal. Remember, animals don't care as long as they're warm and dry, okay? So that's what I'm after here. And I have decided that I'm gonna put metal on it eventually, but for right now, I'm gonna put four by eight sheet on the back of it, four by eight sheet on the top, and maybe a little bit of an overhang uh, just to keep the wind and, and rain out. But uh, we're looking south right now and everything kind of comes from this direction, at least where we're at. So I may put a half wall on this side. Um, that way to keep the wind and rain out and they'll have kind of a cubby to go into. I thought about putting their igloo in there, but I don't know if they're gonna care for it. Um, you know, so we'll see. And I can always move this. I can always take a panel down and, you know, turn it a little bit, something like that, but we'll see. you guys up over here come on now I got this fancy tripod this thing's supposed to there we go so and tractor supply has no idea who I am at this point anyway I'm just being a smart aleck um, so anyway welcome to the goat house a couple gaps up here because I didn't run stringers or anything but spray foam you know, whatever. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. Um, I will probably put a board up there at some point, um, just in case we get a good strong wind or anything like that. But this is essentially done. Now, later in videos, yeah, you're probably gonna see that I put a door on it or something like that. But um, if I do anything else to it, I'll be sure and notate it and come back and tell you guys. But this thing was with free lumber now. One, two, three, four. Even if I paid full price for the shed siding, this was 80 bucks because of free lumber. So I got it for 50 uh, because they were all on sale. So I did this whole thing for 50 bucks. I already had some screws. Remember the goats don't care if you're using uh, galvanized screws or ceramic coated or whatever. Um, you know, you want to build it to where they're safe and dry. And that's what I'm after. And uh, they will be more than that. So. That's it, that's what I got.